man, I spent 12 hours at the dealership today and I got nothing to show for it. What am I doing wrong? How many times have you ever asked yourself that exact question when you got home at the end of a long day? I mean, you know, look, we all go to dealership every single day and we have good intentions. You know, we, we, we want to sell a lot of cars and sometimes it comes down to what do I got to do to sell more cars? What do I got to do to be more successful? Well, I'll tell you one of them. There's a lot of things we got to do, but one of them is having a good daily routine. All athletes have good daily routines. They do the same thing. It's a ritual before every single game. What's your daily routine? What do you do? when you get to the dealership. You know, do you know step by step what, what your plan is? It's the old saying, you gotta plan your work and work your plan. Or, you know, we don't, we don't plan to fail, we just fail to plan. Well, let's talk about a plan. Let's talk about a better way. What you need to do every day so you can maximize your potential that you have. And, and let, let me tell you this, first thing you need to do is, is make sure your attitude's right. Everything starts with attitude. On your way to work, do something to make sure your head's gonna be right. We're in the attitude business, not just the car business. Then, then also ask yourself every day, am I doing the most productive thing all day, every day? Am I doing the most productive thing all day, every day? You got to ask yourself these questions. And the other thing I want you guys to start doing, be early. I mean, if your shift starts at nine o'clock, then being on time means you're there at 8.45. Don't come dragging in at 9.05, 9.10, 9.15, putting on your tie, grabbing a cup of coffee. You need to be ready to go, spark in your eyes, spring in your steps, smile on your face, and be ready to make today the best day you ever had. And when you park at the dealership, park in the back and walk through service. Say hi to all the technicians. Say hi to the advisors. And you know what will happen when you walk through the service department? It's amazing. You'll run into some of your customers. I mean, you'll be able to prospect back there. And then I want you to walk your inventory in the morning, get some fresh air, get your blood pumping, get your, get your energy going first thing, and then go sit down, look at your goals, review your goals. You know, how often daily should you review your goals? Every single day. All right, that's an easy question. Look at your stats. Are you on track? Are you off track? What areas do you need to get better at? So once you look at your stats, now you know what's working, what's not working. Now you go on to Kent's Now, you log in, and you do some personal self-improvement. Whatever that skill is you need, it's on there. So you take a five to 10 minute uh, chapter, you learn, you make yourself better. So now you got your head right, you're working on your skills, you checked out your goals, you said hi to the people into the, in the dealership. Now any any detail stuff you need to do, if you need to get a car ready for delivery, if you need to chase some wheels or some steps, get all that busy work out of the way early. And once you have those things done, now it's time to start generating traffic. Now it's time to start following up and start prospecting. Now it's time to become proactive, be a proactive salesperson. So I want you to start out with sending out your emails, okay? Send out 20 emails uh, uh, every single morning, 20 texts, do your snail mail, send out some postcards, update your social media pages, make sure they're current and they're active. You need to then, then get into your happy calls to sold customers just to get your voice working, get your phone voice going. And then once you're done with your happy calls, sold follow-up, now I want you to do unsold follow-up, working prospects. Now you start calling them up because that's a different mindset. Those aren't happy calls, those are closer calls. So when you do your 20 emails, 20 snail mails, your 20 texts, you update your social media, you do your happy calls, you do your unsold follow-up calls, now you're generating business. Now you're doing all those leading indicators we've talked about in the past to generate business. And once you got that out of the way, probably, take you about two, two and a half hours. Now it's time to get out on point and get a fresh up. Make sure you treat every up like it's the most important customer you've ever had. Bring them through the process, get your managers involved early and often through that process, and make sure you're putting them all into the CRM so you can do your long-term follow-up with that customer and turn a one-time customer into a lifetime customer. But here's what I know, pros have good daily routines. Follow that daily routine, and I promise you'll start being more successful. And when you go home at the end of every day, you'll say, you know what? That was the most productive day I ever had.